We contacted and met with the FEMA representatives, county and state civil defense, and the National Guard, and many other community and state agencies put together plans for the community's assistance, major bridge repairs, restoration of undermined roadways, and mitigation of significant rock fall hazards. Our Department of Public Works has also played a major role in contracting and overseeing this work. This effort has taken and will continue to take many hours and resources, but it must be done in order to restore, restore a safe and reliable connection with Kipahulu and Kaupo. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of many, we look forward to the anticipated reopening of the historic Pi'ilani Highway this year. 2007, wow, what a year. It brought an unusual amount of disasters to us. January 12th, barely two weeks in office, we were under a tsunami watch. January 23rd, a couple weeks later, the Poli Poli Forest Reserve fire began. On June 27th, the Olawalo fire. July 3rd, the Lahaina fire. And in the beginning of December, the severe storm that brought us much consternation in Maui County. And who could forget the scare that Hurricane Flossie brought? Last year was a true test of our preparedness as government and an outstanding example of how our communities support each other in times of crisis and great need. On December 4th, we experienced the triple threat of extremely high wind, high surf, and torrential rains. Nearly every corner of our county was affected. Our residents and visitors experienced massive flooding, widespread phone, water, and power outages, rock falls, mudslides, closed roads and parks, damaged vehicles, homes, and facilities school closures, and lost business. When I reflect on the disaster conditions, I am reminded of how fortunate we are not to have lost any lives or had any serious injuries. I cannot say enough about how grateful I am for the assistance of those who step forward to help our fellow citizens in need during each of our natural disasters last year. While there are so many unsung heroes, I would like to recognize the good works of our partners in emergency response. The Red Cross, the Hawaii National Guard, state civil defense, state agencies such as the Department of Land and Natural Resources, and the State Department of Transportation, the Maui Visitors Bureau, American Medical Response, Windward Aviation, state airport firefighters, and the Rangers of the National Park Service, and the Coast Guard. If any of you are here, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. What the public may not see countless state and county workers who join the emergency responders to assist. They too leave their families and homes to provide help. Public works, environmental management, water, parks, and civil defense employees are called upon during and after any public safety incident to help meet our immediate needs and restore safe conditions. The mayor's office staff provided 24-hour phone coverage at the county civil defense emergency operating center for three days as the, de as the December storm escalated. Many other department employees were on sta standby, ready to assist to do whatever it would take to help. Francis Kyle, first assistant to the managing director, has been coordinating recovery efforts and working with county, state, and federal agencies. Uh, Mr. Kyle, would you stand, please? A true example of the heart and soul that our community has lies in the way our citizens respond in times of great need. For example, whenever there is a large-scale fire incident, many local construction companies immediately offer assistance of their heavy equipment and personnel. Without being summoned, companies like Goodfellow Brothers, HCNS, Hawaiian Dredging Construction, Kaona Ulu Ranch, Molokai Ranch, Parsons Construction, Diamond Bee Ranch, TMC General Contracting, Ulupalakua Ranch, West Maui Land Company, and TG Gomes Trucking show up with equipment and trained operators to work side by side with our first responders. If any of those folks are here, I wish you would stand and be recognized too.
Now, throughout the year, we strengthened our ties with the media, creating an exceptional relationship to help each other get information out to the public during emergencies. We enjoy a partnership with radio, print, and television outlets that is vital and serves the public unselfishly. <coughs> to better communication between agencies and companies, the, company, the county in, in, initiated a gathering of public information officers, opening a direct line of information sharing between state agencies, private companies, and the county. This direct link has created a level of cooperation in the community that benefits our community in times of these disaster incidents. In emergencies, we have been able to count on county employees, state agencies, federal partners, private businesses, community organizations, and good neighbors. I have come to deeply appreciate and respect the sound relationships the county has built with each and every one of them. Maui already leads the state in renewable energy systems through wind power, biomass, solar water heating, biodiesel, small hydroelectrics, as well as residential and commercial photovoltaic installations. To develop a foundation for future action, last fall we held a three-day energy expo. An unprecedented assembly of experts in climate change and renewable energy were brought together with government officials, educators, students, and visionaries. They shared their vast knowledge and captivated a sold-out audience. We heard from many cutting-edge pioneers, including Peter Kalish, who announced his plans for a wave energy system off Maui's North Shore. We also heard more about solar power, wind power, geothermal power, hydroelectric facilities, oil seed crops, waste energy systems, plug-in hybrids, green building designs, and more. One of the most inspiring parts of the conference was a group of Maui students who shared their ideas on innovative energy projects. We learned from them and built and strengthened relationships for future action. Maui County's Energy Commissioner, Dr. Victor Reyes, and others of our Office of Economic Development are to be congratulated for such a, for such a successful and enlightening conference. And would you please stand, Dr. Reyes and OEB. Our economic development people are shy, but they're over there in that corner. <laughs> it has been amazing to witness how the Expo has generated its own kind of energy in our community. We have begun to work with Expo participants to establish five working groups that will focus on renewable energy resource development, green workforce development and education, energy and transportation infrastructure, efficiency and conservation in county facilities and operations, and greenhouse gases and carbon emissions. These working groups will be producing plans that will reflect the enthusiasm the Expo has created and continue to energize public and private partnerships, moving us toward energy independence. <laughs>